Hey everyone, we are at Dollywood's reopening and we thought we'd give you a good walk around the park and check out everything that's in place as far as social distancing goes. Um, all the health measures that they put in place, checking out that flower and food festival, um, checking out Wildwood Grove, just showing you everything that's open out here. Uh, so let's go walk around the park, show them that the coasters are up, they're running, and let's go explore Dollywood, reopening. How you doing today? I'm blessed every day, how about you? I'm doing good. <laughs> One thing that Dollywood is doing completely different than any other park that we've heard of so far is when the temperature check will be taking place. You gotta check this out. And we are doing that at the tram stops out in the parking lot. So they have an opportunity if there is a situation where someone in their party has a temperature above 100.4 that they don't have to get on a tram, go back to their car. Uh, Here's a fun tip about those temperature check stations in the tram lots. If you arrive to yours and the line just seems a little long, if you don't mind a little walk forward, you'll come across another station and odds are the closer you keep walking towards the park entrance, the lower those lines are gonna be. Some people we've noticed been asking questions, what if it's a really hot day from your car as you walk to that temperature check station? At each station, if you need a quick cool down, Dollywood purposely has placed fans just for that reason. They want you to come and play in the park. Another question, what about if you come to the park without a mask? At the temperature check stations, if you don't have a mask, they will provide a complimentary one for you. Not sure if it's a tip, but did you notice something behind me? Take a look. When entering the park, the turnstiles have actually been removed. It means you're, we're gonna get into the park to play a lot quicker. This is really impressive. As soon as you enter the right side of the park, the umbrella sky has 600 umbrellas. Great for those photos. Yeah, and you know what? You can buy a little mini umbrella pin at many of the gift shops around here. They're really cute and it's a great souvenir to bring home to remember this. So the Dollywood team actually put this together themselves. Yeah. It is really impressive. Yeah, they did a great job and they had to learn very quickly under pressure to make all this happen for us. So it, thank you, Dollywood. And this is just the beginning of the Flower and Food Festival. Yeah. We got a lot more coming up. It's a fun. There's certainly no more excitement when our teams get a chance to welcome our enthusiasts back onto the Dollywood properties and get back to the business of getting away from all the pressures of the world and start seeing the sparkle in people's eyes when they're on property. Phil, come see Dr. Phil, best post in the stinking park! <laughs> Woo! I hope y'all have a big time out here. Dollywood has reopened, and there seems to be a lot of questions about the kids' rides, mm -hmm. whether they're open, some may not be open. We want to try to get all those questions answered, especially right here at Country Fair. Yeah. There's a lot of kids rides and family rides out here. So we're going to go check that out. We're going to check out Wildwood Grove and bring it all to you. So kick back, start dreaming, and let's go on a kid ride Dollywood adventure that rocks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm glad you guys are here today. We're so happy. I'm excited. This is our first day open. Yay. How do you guys feel? Happy, happy? Happy, yeah. happy. Come on in. Uh, we only have three seats open. Okay. 
This one looks open. My rider, hi. Hello. <laughs> well, I'm excited to have y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be spinning, but I'll be having fun. Use hand sanitizer. Oh, love it. Oh, there you go. The lemon twist. Not twisting so much, but it's fun. I love how Dollywood's committed to making not only my time, but your time, the best time we can all have together as possible. These signs play safe help encourage that as reminders to keep that six feet distance apart between you and other parties that are around you. Yep. So you're gonna have fewer people in the park, but you're gonna have fewer spots available on each ride. So what do you think it's gonna mean for wait times? So it's, it's a really great question because I'm excited to tell you that the ride wait time in this situation is going to be less than it was in pre-COVID operation. I could bore you to death and talk about how many square feet per ride and the studies that we did from the throughput, but we have it down based on the number of cycles and the number of people riding that our ride wait times are actually going to be less in post-COVID operation. You gotta love it out here on reopening days back at Dollywood. Bubbles and all. The butterflies definitely don't disappoint and there's not only one, but there's two of them. And wait till you see the details in the back of the wings. I'm ready. Okay, Open reopening day photos here at Dollywood. Say cheese. And for the photos out here in front of the sign, you don't have to wear your mask when you get your photos taken. If you're on a high thrill attraction, uh, you're not required to wear a mask or a water attraction. Okay, so we're gonna try, never tried, never heard of it. Let us know if you have. This is potato candy. It's made with mashed potatoes and sugar and then there's peanut butter inside. And the lady, I mean, actually have a video of them making it. And she, the lady like sold us on this. So we're gonna try it, okay? You know what this reminds me of? What's that? Do you remember Abba Zabba's? Nope. Abba Zabba's, like, oh, we'll have to put a picture of an Abba Zabba in case somebody else does not know about that. This is really good, and it sounds strange, but I definitely recommend it. So I'm about ready to taste for the first time candy where the recipe was done in the 1930s. This mashed potato candy and no gravy for the mashed potatoes. Mmm. It's pretty good, mm -hmm. huh? You really don't know what an Abba Zappa is? I don't think I know what an Abba Zappa is. Mmm. I know what I... What does it remind you of? I feel like I've had it before, like at maybe my grandparents' house in the 70s as a kid, huh. like during Christmas, 
something tells me I've had something very, very similar to this. Look, yeah. For $1.50, definitely stop in and grab it. Part of the flower and food festival as we've worked up uh, show street here in market square is really the centerpiece of that part of our festival and this is dolly's mother abby lee and she is sewing together the coat of many colors so it was something that dolly really enjoyed seeing that her mother would be represented as part of this festival um, you can see the butterflies around uh, which also are very symbolic this of Dolly and Dolly. This is definitely one that everyone right. stops at. And how can you not? The coat of many colors. But check out some of these other details. The butterflies, look behind them in the trail of rainbow colors that they leave. It's incredible. The sculpture is of Dolly's mom. It's just a representation of her doing the coat of many colors. Now, it took them over a week to do this. Just imagine the hours that they put in through that week as they were putting this together. It's just jaw dropping. It's so inspiring to see. Sandy, Sandy, I thought Wildwood Grove was just kids' rides open, but kids and adults can come here and enjoy the rides right now, too. Let's get sanitized. Hey, come on, Sandy, let's go. this up you gotta love the food festivals out here when they have them all kinds of different food options this year like the skirt skirt steak under a bread like carbonzala salad and the caramelized brussels sprouts Let me step into the mask free zone. Take this off. I love this mask free zone area. You are immersed in Dolly everywhere you look. One of my favorite places always to hang out anyway. The Dolly Part Museum is closed right now. It's a high touch area. The so is the tour bus. So if you're used to those items when you do come, they're gonna be open again soon. But to be immersed, the Dream Song Theater, it's closed also, but I just love how you are surrounded by all of Dolly in this one area. It's just very unique, very cool, very Dolly. How we doing? Doing good. Doing good. We hope we took care of some of those rumors that you're seeing on the news and across social media out here at Dollywood. Kids can play. One of our favorite sculptures has to be the family of bears out here. Bears are always so popular in the Smoky Mountains. Sandy's been searching for them every time we come. 
But take a look at the bears. Do you have a favorite one? I like the whole family. The whole family? They're pretty cute. I have a favorite one. This one hiding. The one hiding in this tree right here. He's pretty awesome. Looking for more fun adventures around Dollywood, Pigeon Forge, and the Gatlinburg area? Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and soar with us. Always remember, make each and every day an adventure that rocks.